Hello dear students, today we're going to work on unit 2, lesson 2, which is measuring temperature and this lesson is designed for grade 6. So let's get started. First off, I would like to ask you this question. How do we measure temperature? Well, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to Number 1. Compare between medical and Celsius thermometer Number 2. Understand the importance of thermometers in our daily life. So, I would like to look carefully at this picture. What do you see? That's right. We are having here digital thermometer. So, why we use digital thermometer? The reason we use digital or, you know, medical thermometers is we want to measure the temperature. So, what is thermometer? A thermometer is a device that we use to measure temperature. Great. So, can we measure temperature by just touching? Actually, we cannot do that. Because touching the object can help us to know if the object is hot or cold. We can say that this is cold or this is hot just by touching. But we cannot actually measure temperature only by touching. We cannot measure temperature accurately only by touching. So again, we cannot measure the temperature by touching because by using touching this sense, we can only say that this object is hot or cold, right? But we cannot say that this is like 30 Celsius or 40 Celsius, etc. So we cannot measure the temperature accurately only by touching. So what is the idea behind the thermometer? Well, basically, changing the volume of the liquid according to the temperature. So, we will have a liquid, okay, in the thermometer. And this liquid actually will change its volume, go up and down according to, that's right, the temperature. So, the liquid expands by heating and contracts by cooling. يبقى تاني يا جماعة الفكرة behind the thermometer, إن جوه الثيرمومتر هيكون في liquid. وهنعرف إن هذا الليكويد ده اسمه إيه. والليكويد ده will change its volume الفوليوم بتاعه هيختلف according to the temperature يعني ايه الكلام ده؟ يعني هنلاحظ ان الليكويد ده بيطلع لفوق يعني expand وده معناه ان هيبقى فيه exactly hot things وهيحصل له contracts يعني هيقل وده بسبب ان هو اتحط فيه that's right cool things يبقى again changing the volume of liquid the volume of liquid according to the temperature and the liquid expands by heating يعني هيتدفع لفوق أو هيكسبان بسبب الهيت and contracts by cooling. So we have how many types of thermometer. In this unit or in this lesson, we will learn about two types of thermometers. Number one, medical thermometers. And the second type is Celsius thermometers. So what are the types of thermometers? Number one, medical thermometers. And number two, Celsius thermometers. Let's look at medical thermometer. It consists of, number one, glass bulb contains mercury. Number two, we have capillary tube. Number three, thick glass tube. And number four, constriction. So, let's talk about each and every one in details. Number one, we said we will have a glass tube. We will have a transparent glass tube. ولازم يكون transparent عشان نقدر نشوف المركوري علشان نعرف نحدد ال temperature بتاع الولد لما بيقيس حرارته. Right? And we have a capillary tube filled with mercury. جوه ال glass tube عندي هنا في tube تانية اسمها capillary tube ودي اللي بيمشي جواها المركوري. So again, we have transparent glass tube. And we have capillary tube filled with mercury. The third part that we have is, that's right, constriction. We have something called constriction. And constriction is above the bulb. Because we said that we have glass bulb that contains mercury. And in here we have the constriction. So the question I'm having here, guys, is why we have constriction above the bulb? We said that this glass bulb contains mercury. And we have something called constriction here. Why we have it? Because we want to prevent the mercury to go to the bulb. We don't want the mercury to go to the bulb 
when we are measuring temperature. If we want to measure temperature, we need the mercury to be here, right? So it could expand or contract. It will expand if it's so hot, like we are measuring somebody who had who has, for example, like high temperature, and it will contract if we have somebody who doesn't have high temperature. So again, we have constriction here above the bulb to prevent the mercury to go to the bulb so we can read the temperature. Why we use medical thermometer? As we said before, the reason we use thermometer is to measure temperature. And we use medical thermometer because we want to, that's right, measure the temperature of a human body. We will have some notes about medical thermometers. Okay, the thermometer scale, the numbers that we have here, is from 35 up to 42. So it's from 35 up to 42. And every degree is divided into 10 parts. So as you can see here, these are the 10 parts to reach from 35 up till 36. Okay, so again, the thermometer scale starts with 35 and up to 42. And every degree is divided into, that's why, 10 parts. Well, the normal body temperature is 37. عنده normal body temperature يبقى احنا درجة حرارتنا الطبيعية هتكون 37 أكتر يبقى احنا عندنا high temperature يعني ممكن يكون عندنا كده fever So again guys, the normal body temperature is 37 Celsius I have some questions for you here guys First of all, the medical thermometer must be kept out of reach of children يعني لازم أبعد الميديكال ثيرمومتر عن الأطفال because mercury inside it is toxic. كلمة toxic معناها سام. So again, mercury is toxic. And that's why we have to put the medical thermometer away from the children. The second question is, we must check the medical thermometer before using it. بنلاحظ إن مامتنا لما بتيجي تقيس لنا درجة الحرارة دايما she shake the medical thermometer. But shake it. Why guys? To let the mercury to go back to the bulb. Okay? So, to let mercury or the mercury to go back to the bulb. I have another question. We sterilizing the thermometer by alcohol and not by boiling water. Sterilize, يعني نعقم a thermometer بالالكهول ومش بنستخدم boiling water. يعني ما حدش يحط يا جماعة الثرمومتر في مية سخنة عشان يعقمه. You could use alcohol, but you cannot use boiling water. وسبب في كده Mercury will expand. We know that mercury, the liquid, that will expand by heat. صح يا جماعة? Great. So you gonna see that the mercury will expand and the thermometer will be broken down. Second question is the graduation of clinical or of course medical thermometer is from 35 up to 42. من لاحظ إن الثرمومتر بتاعنا اللي هو الميديكال ثرمومتر السكيل بتاعه ما بين 35 up to 42. Because the normal temperature of a human body is 37, and it cannot be less than 35 or more than 42. يبقى again يا جماعة, reason إن أنا عندي thermometer من 35 up to 42, and the normal temperature of a human body is 37, واستحالة إن ممكن the temperature بتاعي يكون less than 35 or more than 42. Now I'm going to talk about Celsius thermometer. It consists of, number one, Transparent thick glass tube. So again, it consists of transparent thick glass tube. And number two, capillary tube filled with mercury, just like the medical thermometer. We have a capillary tube that's filled with mercury. And number three, you should know that there is no constriction here. We said that the medical thermometer should have, that's right, constriction above the bulb. But in Celsius thermometer, we don't have constriction. In Celsius thermometer, we don't have constriction. We should know something pretty important. The thermometer scale starts from 0 up to 100. Now we talked about the medical thermometer and we said it's from 35 up to 42. But in the Celsius thermometer, the scale starts from 0 till 100. And every degree is divided into, that's right, 10 parts. Okay, as you can see, 
we have 10 parts here. Great. So why we use Celsius thermometer? We use Celsius thermometer to measure the temperature of liquids, like water, for example. So again, if you want to measure the liquids, like water, milk, we can use Celsius thermometer. I have a question for you guys. Why is mercury preferred in making thermometers? Leave me start them in mercury, go well thermometers. Number one, it's a liquid metal. It's a liquid metal. It's a mercury, go well thermometers in a liquid. That's the first thing. Number two, mercury is a good conductor of heat. We talked about that in some of the materials that are good conductors of heat and some of the materials that are bad conductors of heat. We will discover that mercury is a good conductor of heat. And this is something important to me that I use the thermometer to measure the temperature. Number three, mercury is a regular expanding material which gives an accurate reading. We said that mercury is a liquid بيحصل له expansion يعني بيمتد لو انا عندي heat تمام ويحصل له ايه تاني it contracts يعني بيكش او بيبقى مش ممتد زي ما حصل في الهيت لما بيكون درجة الحرارة مش عالية مش احنا قلنا تاني يا جايز ان المركي يعتبر good conductor of heat فده معناه لو انا دلوقتي measure somebody's مثلا temperature بقيس درجة حرارة حد هنلاحظ المركي will expand هيمتد if it's high heat وهيحصل له contracts لو هو low heat يبقى تاني it's a regular expanding material which gives an accurate reading آخر نقطة mercury does not stick to the wall of the capillary tubes زي ما احنا شفنا في السوى اللي قبل كده عرفنا ان mercury بيمشي جوا ال capillary tubes ف it will not stick inside the capillary tubes Okay, thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy it and see you soon guys